everyone in this video we are going to discuss this example okay so here in this example we have this complex integration we have to solve it over this curve c but the condition is we have to solve with the help of cauchy's residue theorem okay so let us start to solve this problem first of all i will call the given integral as i we have whatever the integral we have i am calling it as i e raised to minus 1 by z sin 1 by z dz the most important thing is that curve c so let us draw that curve first then we will discuss this example okay so what have they mentioned c is mod z is equal to 1 this is equation of circle so here c is a circle mod z is equal to 1. So we have to draw this circle but for that we need to know its center and radius. Okay. So what will I do? I will compare this equation with a standard equation. So easily we will get center and radius. The standard equation of circle is mod z minus z0 is equal to r. So here z0 is center of circle r is radius of circle getting so here only mod z is here that means mod z minus 0 is equal to 1 i am expressing the same equation in this way so you can easily compare and you can say z naught is 0 that means center is 0 r is 1 that means radius is 1 so let us write so the center 0 it means 0 0 radius is 1. So here we have to draw a circle with center 0 0 radius 1. So let us draw imaginary axis real axis. Let us have some scaling here 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 minus 1 minus 2. Okay, So we have a circle with center 0 0 radius 1. So we have a circle like this okay so this is a given circle okay so let us start to discuss the example now okay so let us write the function the second important thing is to note down the function so what is the function we have inside this integral this is our function let us call it as f of z so f of z is e raised to minus 1 by z sin 1 by z okay so they have asked to solve this problem with the help of cauchy's residue theorem okay cauchy's residue theorem let us recall its statement and uh, then we will uh, plan how to solve this problem okay so the statement of cauchy's residue theorem is integration over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues it means uh, what we do first we find the singular points of a function singular points means a point where function is not analytic or generally we say the point where the denominator is zero we find those points we will check whether those points are lying outside or lying inside the circle okay if they lie outside no need to worry no need to find any residue but if point lies inside circle we have to find residue at that point okay so uh, if we will find how many singular points are there inside the circle we will find residue at each of these points then we take sum of residues so we add all these residues we take product with 2 pi i and the product will be the required value of integration okay so this is Koch's residue theorem that means we find the value of integration with the help of residues getting so this is actual concept so first of all we have to find the singular point that means point where function is not analytic okay or we say the where the denominator is zero so will you tell me actually this function has no any denominator but inside sign we have one by z so you can clearly say if z is equal to zero we will have one by zero infinity getting so that means function is not analytic at zero as well as at in power of e also you can easily see if I put z is equal to 0, then also we get 1 by 0. That means function is not analytic at z is equal to 0. So let me mention here, here 
f is not analytic at z is equal to 0. So now the next step is to check whether this point, we call it a singular point, lies inside circle or outside circle. 0, it is at here origin. No? So obviously it lies inside circle. That means we have to find residue at 0. So now the question is how to find residue. Actually the residue uh, definition of residue we have with the help of it we can easily find by expressing in uh, in terms of Lorentz series we can find residue uh, and two more formulas are there to find residue but those formulas are applicable only when given singularity is a pole but in this example we have no idea it is pole or not okay where we cannot say anything directly so that's why we have to follow the definition of residue that means we have to find Lorentz series expansion and then we will get residue and then we will apply Cauchy's residue theorem okay so let us start with uh, this f of z so what is our f of z e raised to minus 1 by z and sine 1 by z right so we have to find the Lorentz expansion actually the given function f is a product of two standard functions okay we have two standard functions. the first standard function is exponential function okay let me write here okay exponential function and the second standard function is sine and both uh, functions standard functions have their own series so let me write first what are their series so e raised to minus z i'm writing minus z since we have a minus sign its expansion is 1 minus z plus z square by 2 factorial minus z cube by 3 factorial and so on. So this is expansion of e raised to minus z. So we have to use the same expansion for this e raised to minus 1 by z. Simply at a place of z we have to write 1 by z. Okay, so let us write uh, at a place of z 1 by z. Let us see what we will get 1 minus 1 by z plus 1 by 2. 2 factorial z square getting since z is in denominator now minus 1 upon 3 factorial z cube plus and so on infinite terms are there getting so now let us talk about this sin z so sin z is also one uh, series right do you know that series of sin z the series of sin z is z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z is to 5 by 5 factorial and so on alternating minus plus signs and uh, powers of z are odd numbers getting 1 3 5 7 like that in denominator also we have those odd numbers so the difference is here we have sin z here we have sin 1 by z that means at a place of z what we have 1 by z so let us replace z by 1 by z here also so the series will be into i should write since there is a product between these two functions 1 by z right minus 1 by 3 factorial z cube plus 1 by 5 factorial z raised to 5 and so on okay yes so let us write those uh, series properly okay properly in the sense factorial symbol symbols we have so let us find their actual values so it will be uh, easy to find a product 1 minus 1 by z 2 factorial means 2 into 1 which is 2 itself 2 z square 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 which is 3 into 2 into 1 means 3 3 z cube and so on here okay into 1 by z 3 factorial means same 3 into 2 into 1 6 6 z cube 5 factorial now it will take some time 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 20 right 20 60 120 120 120 z raised to 5 and so on okay oh uh, yes that's it now we have to take product of these two infinite series we have very simple technique to find a product of infinite series i will write it here what i do first term into first term okay next first term into second term plus second term into first term next first term into third term second uh, term into second term third term into first term so this is a technique we have which we follow to find a product of these two infinite series right one one first term into first term 
that means 1 into 1 by z so we will have 1 by z next first term into second term okay so what will i get minus 1 upon 6z cube next plus second term into first term this is second term this is first term if you take product so you will get minus minus plus minus 1 by z square right next first term into third term so this is third term but see raised to 5 raised to 5 so uh, we will take uh, just smaller power of z only so yes so second term into second term z into z cube z raised to 4 and the third term into first term third term into first term uh, third term where is third term yes into first term that means plus 1 upon 2 z cube that means simply I am considering the powers of z up to 3 only. You will get higher powers also. But just to find residue, to find residue, these small powers are enough. Okay? So I am writing plus and so on. Infinite terms are there. Just I have covered all terms up to power 3. So make a screenshot of it first. Then I will go further. So let us continue. So this is equal to. So our first term is 1 by z, right? After that, I will consider the second power of z. That means minus 1 by z square. Agree? So, we have two terms of power 3. So, 1 by z cube we can take common and the coefficients we will add. So, this is minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 z cube plus and so on. So, this is 1 by z minus 1 by z square. Uh, see, minus 1 by 6 plus I will multiply numerator and denominator by 3 to maintain the same denominator. So, 3, 3 into 2, 6 z cube plus and so on. So, this is equal to 1 by z minus 1 by z square 2 by 6 that means 2 by 6 let me write first 3 minus 1, 2 ok. 2, 2 will get cancelled 1 by 3 minus 1 by z square plus z cube by 3 plus and so on. So, this is required Lorentz series expansion. Okay. So, finally, we got Lorentz series expansion. So, with the help of it easily, we can find residue. So, residue of f of z at z is equal to 0. So, the definition of residue says the residue is nothing but coefficient of 1 by z. Coefficient of 1 by z. This is definition of residue. So, here 1 by z is uh, only this term we have. The multiple is obviously nothing is there. That means 1 is there. So, the multiple is 1. So, the residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 is 1. So, we had got only one singular point 0 since it was creating uh, it was creating problem. The function was not analytic at 0. So, only one singular point we had and it was inside a circle. So, it means we had to find residue. We found out its residue is 1. So, it is time to use Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. Just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So, by Cauchy's residue theorem, by Cauchy's residue theorem, integration over C. What is the integration we have? I am writing here sin 1 by z dz. Residue theorem is 2 pi i sum of residues. Okay. So, 2 pi i. So, we have only one residue and which is 1. So, I am putting it there 1. So, 2 pi into 1. So, 2 pi i. So, this is required value of integration. Okay. So, the problem is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you next video.